Okay, so today what I want to show you is what's going on with one of my chicken coops. This is kind of unfinished but stained wood and you'll notice that it has lots of holes in it. These are holes caused by an insect here in the state of Pennsylvania and they are particularly active this time of year and it's April 28th. Look how some of the holes in the soffit here on the north side of this building look like they're actually drilled by drills. Now what they do is they'll cut in at 90 degrees to the grain and then once they get inside they go parallel with the grain and create chambers for raising their young. Is it these wasps? No, wasps gather cellulose to make these wasp nests that you see, but this isn't what's chewing into my wood. And in just a second here, I'll show you what's doing it. Here is the culprit flying around here just outside of my chicken coop you see this large bumblebee it's actually a carpenter bee and this one is the male the male is standing guard over the whole northern edge here and now I've got him inside and I've put him in this petri dish so we can get a close look at him you'll see on his head he has this square patch that's yellow and when you see them hover outside a building and confront people that are coming nearby, uh, that yellow patch is very prominent. Now what's interesting is, just like the honeybee, the male carpenter bee cannot sting. Now a lot of people think because they can't sting, you just grab them and pick them up. But I want you to notice the mandibles on this guy. He could give you a pretty good bite. Now the female is the one that actually drills those half inch diameter holes I showed you earlier. She'll dig in again at 90 degrees and then cut her chambers parallel. She'll lay an egg in a chamber three or four inches long and then she'll seal that up and come back and lay another. And then the male will mate. So when you see two of these flying outside of a, you know, a wooden area that's unfinished generally where they're drilling their holes, you'll either see the male chasing off other males but sometimes you'll see two of these bees get together and they'll be tumbling around and what you're witnessing then is mating activity. And of course they drink nectar, so I'm giving this one some sugar water. They're not great pollinators because they go to flowers and chew out the base of the flower to get the nectar, bypassing the pollen. I hope you enjoyed watching this little guy and I hope you'll stay tuned for some of my other videos. Have a great time observing nature this spring. And now hopefully you've got some answers for what makes those holes in your unfinished wood.